transaction actions. Today we're going to learn a little bit about spending. We're also going to learn about sales tax. So first, let's make a shopping list. Say you're going back to school and you need a whole new year's worth of supplies. Why don't you make a shopping list of supplies you might need? But we also want you to estimate, which means take your best guess what you think the total cost of that list might be. Maybe you're adding in things like notebooks. Don't forget your pens and pencils. Maybe you need a new backpack. Perhaps you need other accessories like a ruler. Pause the video and take a moment now to go ahead and make your shopping list and then estimate how much it might cost. Now that you've got your shopping list ready, we want to make you aware of one very important thing that happens in most states called sales tax. Sales tax is an extra amount of money you pay in addition to the price of anything you buy. Sales tax is actually calculated as a fraction of the price, and it goes to the state or local government to pay for state and local budget items like your local schools, the roads, trash and fire departments in your town, and so on. This sales tax means that if a price tag says $5, you'll probably end up paying more than $5 at the cashier. Some items are do not have to pay sales tax, like certain states where food is not charge sales tax. But from state to state, there is usually some kind of sales tax on some items that you buy. Now, let's do a quick little exercise to think about sales tax and how it affects the prices that we pay. Let's say Joseph is buying a t-shirt for school. The t-shirt costs $8. The sales tax is 64 cents. If that's the case, how much will he need to pay total? Will he hand the cashier $8? Will he hand the cashier just 64 cents? Will he have to pay $8.64 total? Or will he have to pay $7.36 total? Take a moment to do the calculation on your own and pick the answer that you believe is correct. If you got $8.64, you're correct. When you add sales tax, you take the cost of the item and add the sales tax in order to get to the total price. Now let's look at how this might affect you in back to school shopping. If you're in the early elementary grades, you'll probably wanna do our lower elementary handout. This is where you can look at the pictures of the money to total up how much you might pay per item. So for instance, let's say you got a pack of pencils. You can look in the first column to see how much the item actually costs and then total up based on the picture the sales tax you'd have to pay. In this case, we have $6, a $5 bill plus a $1 bill. So the package of pencils costs $6. Turns out that the sales tax costs this many coins which I can see is four dimes, or 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, equaling 40, plus five, equaling 45, that's a nickel, and then three more cents, so 46, 47, 48. Here I've got 48 cents in sales tax. So the total cost of this pack, pack of pencils is going to be $6.48, because I took the cost and added the sales tax and got the total. Continue with this pattern on your low elementary shopping list if that's appropriate for you. Now, if you're in the upper elementary grades, you can make things a little bit more challenging. You're going to have a list of items and how much they cost, and you're going to calculate the sales tax using an equation. Let's pretend that your local sales tax is 10%, which is actually pretty high. But that would mean that 10 cents for every dollar you spend or one-tenth of the original price gets added on at the end as sales tax. Don't forget, sales tax is added to the cost of your item. So to find the total cost, you're gonna have to add the cost per item plus sales tax. Let's try it here. Let's say there's a pack of blue or black pens, whichever you prefer, and they come in at $6.50 per pack. First, let's figure out what the sales tax is. We need to figure out what 10% of $6.50 is. So we take $6.50 and we multiply it by 10% or 0.1 or one-tenth of a dollar. If you calculate that, you'll get 
point six five or sixty five hundredths. Now remember, we've got to take our cost per item and add our sales tax to it. So we'll go six dollars and fifty cents plus sixty five cents and end up with a total of seven dollars and fifteen cents. So though the price tag says six dollars and fifty cents on those pens, you'll need to have at least seven dollars and fifteen cents when you get to the cashier in order to walk out of the store having paid for those pens. One more challenge before we wrap up today. Let's say Tony has a ten dollar bill and sees a Pegasus case that costs exactly ten dollars. Do you think she has enough money to buy it? Why or why not? If you said that Tony does not have enough money to buy the pencil case because she hasn't accounted for sales tax, then you would be correct. Tony would have to have a few more coins to pay for the sales tax, depending on the percentage rate in her area, in order to buy the pencil case. We hope you've learned something interesting about sales tax today, and you've gotten a little bit more financially literate. Join us for more activities on fitmoney.org.